guys, I'm the Toy Forever and you're watching another video by iPod King Carter. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to become a part of Team IKC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, boo. <laughs> I just want to thank Latoya Forever for that beautiful intro. Thank you, mama. But yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman to YouTube. You guys already know what time it is. It's time for David Carter, Mr. 87 himself, the stash she stuffer, whatever many nicknames you guys may give him. It's time for him to bite the dust. It's time for him to retire. It's time for him to hang it up. It's time for him to throw his shoes over the telephone pole. You already know how the game go. But man, I'm just going through a couple tweets real quick. You see the homie MJ had to come through and show love. Once you get acknowledged by MJ, you really done made it, you know what I'm saying? You already big time now, you a superstar. So I ain't sweating it. I'm going up against Kobe Bryant and the LA Lakers in the playoffs. I did sim it, so we're down three to one. I won two games and now it's time for us to go into game seven. It's about to be a crazy game. I'm going to show you guys a few highlights. I'm going to show you how things went down. Uh, hey, all I got to do is say the Lake Show is real. That's all I'm saying. But let's hop into this gameplay and then we're going to hop into the retirement. Let's go. All right, this right here is the final time you're going to hear this man voice on this court. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to encourage his teammates to... Go out there, give it their all, you know, trying to make it to the next round, you know. But <laughs> as it goes, man, David Carter was a great my player creation, scoring small forward. If you guys want to know what his attributes and all that stuff was, I got plenty of videos out on that. It's a link inside the about section or description, whatever y'all want to call it, with the actual uh, full playlist. So if you want to check them out, go on ahead. But we're about to hop into this game. Tip off is about to happen. I'm getting the crowd hype. Kobe, he don't want to guard me. I just, I, I'm just put it that simple. Like Kobe don't want to guard me. Like he already know what time it is. But <laughs> let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? We showing love to each other. He already knew who I am, and I definitely know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Second in command. <laughs> but the turn up switch. It's always there. I can turn up at any given time in a game. And yeah, my first points may have been a between the leg dunk. But hey, is it my fault I turned up? I, th I thought I thought the turn up switch was never supposed to stop. It's all good though. But uh, as that replay goes, we're about to hop into the next clip I want to show y'all. When we coming down court, I notice I have a mismatch every single time because the thing is the person who's guarding me is Antoine Jameson now Antoine Jameson is originally a power forward so I don't know if that's the reason why since they got him at the three they got Dwight Howard on me they got Paul Gasol on me they have him alternating on me it's like couldn't nobody stop me I didn't know what was going on I'm like yo these dudes about to get this work but check out this play right here I'm getting guarded by Dwight Howard right Look at that lightning speed that he has to catch a pass. Now check this out. I try to steal the ball. Now, 80% of the time, if you're trailing a point guard and they try to go up, you can strip them. But since it's a center, I can strip them and I get my fifth foul. Yes, we're only in the second quarter. And the coach still does not take me out. Guess what he does? He puts me in that point guard. So I'm like, okay, five fouls. I'm in a point guard position. He's not taking me out the game. Do he want us to lose? So, my only resort was to keep turning up as much as I could, get as many points as I can before I get my sixth, sixth foul. Because I already know that I'm going to get fouled out this game. It's no way in hell you can play two full quarters without getting kicked out the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting three flagrants. I don't care. I'm, I'm busting everybody. I'm, I'm throwing chairs. I'm hitting fans. Everything. I don't care no more. I'm pissed off that the coach left me in the game. So, you know, I tapped him on his leg, tried to get a little still, and now I'm out the game. Now, I got to go sit on the bench. I, only, I got, what, 64 points, what, 11 assists, 4 rebounds. I did have 5 turnovers, but, hey, it is what it is. I shot 68% from the field. I did all that I could for my team, y'all. Everything. I When I went out, we were up 10. I gave them guys a nice little cushion to sit on, and I just hope and pray that my team will pull this game out. And it's funny because when you when you sitting back and you looking at the sim, right, 
and you rooting for your team. Like at this moment, I'm like, yo, come on, come on, y'all, score, score. No, wait, no, no, don't, no, please, wait, no. And then you start sweating, you start hyperventilating, and you're like, what the hell is going on? So as the time is winding down, I realized that the Lake Show was real. And that they was going to come out with this win. It wasn't nothing that I could do. I was just sitting on the bench. Um, I might have threw a few Gatorade um, canisters. I might have mushed Kobe in the face. You know what I'm saying? I might have punched one of my teammates you know what I'm saying? for getting too close. You see that mad look on my face. I'm not disappointed. I'm angry. <laughs> like That is anger right there. We lose at home. The late show, they did, they did what they came to do. But uh, one thing I did notice, as they were walking back to the locker room, they weren't as hyped as they should be. It's like, dude celebrated. It was like, you know what? We just played 48 minutes. I'm tired. It's time to go back to the locker room. It's time to fly back to L.A. because we moving on. But it's all good. I ain't tripping, y'all. But let's get into the press conference, show you guys a little something, something. Heartbreaking loss for you guys tonight in Game 7. What is it like coming so close but knowing now that your season is over? Well, um, I'm kind of happy that the season is over. Uh, I wanted this season to be done very, very quicker than I anticipated. But, you know, I had to make a bunch of other videos. So, you know, I'm just playing, y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that I kind of got put out because now I don't have to cram, uh, like, two more or three more rounds of playoffs into like what a week and a half two like so i'm kind of glad that kobe and them knocked us off but hey man i showed up i did what i had to do for the team but i fouled out i still blame coach i don't know about y'all i blame the coach man these guys played their hearts out and i really feel like we deserve to move on but those guys played a great series too and we can't both keep our seasons alive this time it was their turn, but I really feel like we can be back, you know? We've got a strong core group of guys here, and we're only going to get better as we keep playing together. We can learn from this, both the team and the coaching staff. So if we can take any positive from a loss like this, it's that it'll hopefully make us that much better when we do it all again next season. Man, I was lying through my teeth. I can't stand this team. <laughs> Now nah, I'm just playing though. You know, we got a nice little core of guys. I was able to play with them, get to the playoffs. But it's time for me to retire, man. It's time for me to get gone. Let's do it. I am about to snap out at this press conference. I'm slapping whatever reporter get in my face. I dare you ask me why I'm retiring, woman. I dare you. <laughs> nah, man, I'm just having fun, man. You know how I do. So we're about to turn up in a press conference. You know, we're about to get it twerking, you know what I'm saying? Get all the press conference ladies twerking and okay now. Your announcement today came as a complete shock to everybody here. Why give it all up when it seems like your career is only just beginning? Well, see what had happened was, right? I took the Hornets to the playoffs. I did enough. I did my job. God damn it, who else can say that in the last couple years? Because I can. I like to do things that no one would ever expect. That keeps people guessing. It even keeps me guessing sometimes. And I thought, what better way to do that than to retire out of the blue? So here we are. And yes, I really am retiring. But you haven't seen the last of me. There's a whole lot more to come, just in a different form. Thank you. You heard I'm a different form. NBA 2K14, Next Gen, All-Star Week and Trade Deadline, holla at him. But Stashy Stuffer is done for now. I just want to thank everybody who helped me with this series, Jalil Beats, KC Fly Life, Toya Forever, Commentaries, I don't care. Thank you to the fans. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I love you very much. But this is our KC signing out. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.